Hello and welcome to Model Kit Stuff and today's Focus on Tools video. And today we're looking at the LMG shipbuilding berth, the mini one. So LMG, or Laser Model Graver, um, is a Ukrainian company that um, specialises in making all sorts of various um, uh, modelling holders, stands, um, travel cases... Um, uh, paint racks, that, that type of thing. Um, and this is the smaller of the two um, model ship uh, building slips that they do. They also do um, a, a model building ship um, slip for uh, wooden models, but these are aimed at, at, at plastics. Um, and how they come is they come, uh, basically, it's plywood that's been laser cut. It comes flat packed you have to uh, pop them out of their frets and assemble them. So here's the set of instructions that came with the flat pack. Um, you can see it's fairly basic, but it gives you just about what you need uh, for assembling it. All the parts are numbered um, on the frets and you pop them out and you um, slot them all together using uh, some wood glue. Um, and then you've got some mechanical fasteners where you've got things that, that move. And if we look on the other side of that, we have a reference picture so you can understand which way around to put things together. Um, and it shows you there um, that you've got a maximum uh, span of uh, 100 millimeters. So what does it consist of? We have um, a base, which has got uh, quite a rigid um, construction. Uh, we'll come back to construction in a minute. And then on the top, we've got two um, movable um, stands, which are um, held in place with wing nuts, which allows you to then move the two um, holding stands. Now, there is a, um, a ruler, for want of a better description, in the middle, which is loose. I have no idea what that's for. Um, it doesn't seem to add anything, to, to, to be honest. What it does do is get in the way of manipulating these wing nuts, which is what allows you to open and close the jaws. And in fact, you can, you have to push, push the, you can just about get the wing nut round, but you have to push it. Um, it also has a handy little, if I can loosen the right one, tilt function. So I can tilt the whole thing like that. So let's have a look and put a ship's hull on it and see what we think. So if we open it to the maximum, that one's to the maximum, that one's to the maximum. This is a 1350 um, battleship hull, First World War, so it's not it's not large. It's probably no bigger than a Second World War heavy cruiser. Um, and what I can see is. At the widest point of the ship, we can get that on. Now, they do do a larger one. Now, uh, the Queen Mary 2, for example, wouldn't fit on this. It's just, just too wide. But you can see it will hold this 1350 ship. So I think this is probably the right size for most small um, and medium to large medium size ships 1350 you might struggle with a Yamato so I, it's going to do most if you do that that sort of scale it's going to do it's going to do most ships I would think um, when you put the ship on though you've then got to tighten up the wing nut which is doable but it's underneath the hull and actually don't know if you saw that that lifts because the only way to tighten the wing nut so that I can't actually tighten the wood <laughs> I can, 
to move the wing nut because of the size of the wing nut can you see how it sticks above there so it's knocking on the actual ship which is raising the ship and popping it out of the jaws so um, let's see if we can actually get the jaws to clamp the ship so if I hold the jaws together Yeah, you can see the scratch on the hull. So if that hull was painted, we'd have a major issue. Um, so I can now put it in that way and hold it tight. But now I've got to try and clamp it on this side here. Okay. Well, it's popping out is part of the problem. Yeah, it pops out. So, so actually, it's not particularly doing the job very well. If we did it wider, so we could hold it at the narrower point, maybe. So if I loosen this. Well, I've still got the problem of the, of the wing nut hitting the keel. So that is a design flaw, completely. I can't actually put that in. I can't actually put that in. So this is the first time I've come to use it. It was a, a present. So the first time I've come to use it and it don't work. The other issue you've got uh, that I've noticed is that if you look at the shape of a hole, typically it is not square. It, it's curving tapering to the, the bow and to the stern and these are square so actually there's only a very small amount of this in contact so probably we need to sand an angle on these so that you get a better grip. Now when I assembled this I had some problems um, with the material um, that being that the material is actually pretty poor quality so it's um, it's a plywood that's been given some form of treatment to make it to make it hard. Um, firstly, there was lots and lots of knots, which made some parts of it difficult to clean up because the knots were were rock hard. But also, the quality of the laser cutting was very very poor. So what had happened is the laser had penetrated through, I would say, 80% of the wood, maybe 90%. Um, and you had lots and lots of bits of wood that you had to cut through, not just the tabs, all the way along where they'd laser cut it. So it didn't just pop out. Um, so there was loads of cleanup. I, um, I actually used a whole knife blade up just popping it out. You can still see I've got bits sticking out there. Um, I was very careful not to get any splinters um, and then had to take a file to every single piece and and file the edges off so uh, on one edge all the way around uh, and on all of these parts it was really quite difficult to get all the parts out because the laser cutting hadn't been done very well you can see here um, the wood broke away because of trying to get it out of the frame um, and then I had to open up the holes because they didn't really fit um, so it was a major piece of work to try and get this um, this thing to go together. Um, it took a lot longer than it should have done. Um, so yeah. So so the idea is a good idea. Um, a building slip, something you can put your uh, model on, display it um, while you're building, hold it, put it at an angle, really helpful when you're painting or even when you're doing some rigging tasks um, so you can see better. The idea is really good. Um, my problem is with the execution of the idea. So I hadn't noticed that issue with the wing nuts um, before we came to try and fit this hull. Um, what I had uh, noticed is that this was very difficult to, to move. I mean, the wing nut is totally loose there 
and I have to put quite a bit of force on that to move. Um, it, I mean, it does move, so it's not a major issue. Um, the other thing is this wood is quite rough, so I'm very worried about scratching uh, a painted hull with that. So you need to put some felt or something on, on all of these. And like I say, it does need some adjustment to, to possibly be able to grab. Um, might have to come up with different fasteners to actually make this um, this work. Um, I've no idea why we've got um, uh, centimetre scales. Um, I can't possibly see what the use would be unless maybe it's for cutting rigging to length, but I personally wouldn't use it. Um, so if we can find some way of actually making it work, the idea isn't bad at all. It, it's very fiddly to get it into position and as you've seen we can't actually get it to grab the ship. Um, so that is enough to make me say probably avoid this. Um, I, I know my partner purchased this off eBay and they were all it was all over eBay um, but it's just not a great little tool to be honest. It, that it's got much better potential than the reality um, and personally, that shies me away from anything that LMG may make. I mean, I've bought um, this type of thing from other companies like Sphere and had no issues whatsoever. Um, and Hobby Zone, no issues whatsoever. So the fact that I've had issues with the build of it, issues with the quality of it, now issues with the design of it, I'd probably give the company uh, a miss. Um, is it an essential tool? Absolutely not. You can put your model on a on a tea towel or, um, and 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 pose it the way you want. It's very much a nice to have. Um, like I say, this was a present. It's not something I would have gone out and, and bought for myself. Um, I think, all in all, possibly one to miss. Okay, uh, there you have it. Um, not the not the best tool I've ever had in my possession. Um, I hope that was useful and helpful. Save your money and spend it on something else, maybe a model kit. Take care, everyone. Enjoy your modelling, and we will see you very soon.